Lift me up. Give me a start. Cause I've been flying with some broken arms. Three pop that Australis. That's the one that I forgot about. I don't know if this seltzer water is a Midwest thing, but damn. Dare I say, it beats LaCroix. Cut the fucking cameras. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Plant Talk with Logan. I am Logan and thank you for clicking on this video. Uh, this is my first sit down video in my new apartment and this space is where I'll film most of my sit down videos. Um, really excited about it actually because when I was working on like putting the furniture in here and planning this apartment out, this is what I had in mind for uh, filming videos. So I hope you <laughs> hope you like the new setup. You can see yourself in the mirror probably, I don't know. Um, yeah, today we're just doing a repotting and I wanted to just repot some of my plants. It's been a while since I've just sat down and really got um, into it. So I have, let's see here, I have a Hoya Australis right here, which has crazy roots coming out the bottom. So we got to repot that. I have my Burly Marks cuttings, which I will be putting together with this Burly Marks. I have stuff in my prop box that I want to check up on and I have my... Uh, Skindapsis Moonlight here that I have to repot and Syngonium Pink and Syngonium Confetti. So we got quite a bit to get through today. Um, I'm in a really good mood. It's the Friday before Easter. Um, if you celebrate Easter, happy Easter. Um, and I had a half day of work and I got my first tattoo today, which I will put a picture of it somewhere around me uh, so you can see what it looks like. My friend Kayla from college is an amazing tattoo artist. Um, in Milwaukee and she had some flash designs and I was like oh I need it I need it um, we worked together and altered it a little bit to fit what I wanted we put them on sterile in it and um, I am just over the moon in love with it it's currently there's currently blood seeping out of this side of it <laughs> I got it above my knee on my left leg uh, it's my first tattoo ever so that was a really cool experience to have with her um, it was really fun. So Kayla, if you're watching, hi, thank you for the tattoo. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, this is a brand new desktop here. So I'm putting, I put a bag down to kind of hopefully catch some of the dirt. Hopefully I don't make too much of a mess. I have a bucket, I have a tray. So when I water them, the water will go in the tray. I'm prepared. More prepared than I have ever been before for a repotting. Usually it's just balls to the wall, crazy time. So we're organized today. I'm going to mix up some soil here. I have on my channel in the past um, explained what I put in my soil, but um, I'll tell you really quick as a rundown, if you don't know, I use the Happy Frog organic soil, um, probably about 50% of that, probably about 20% uh, orchid bark um, for drainage and chunkiness, probably like 10% perlite, don't know what percent of 100 rat, and then I've been starting to mix in some worm castings as well. Oh, and charcoal. So. I got the whole range going on here. So just want to make a really nice chunky mix of soil. Um, I really need to get some Dela tanks, but I've been putting it off because I don't want to order it. <laughs> so um, I'm going to mix soil and I'll be right back. I got some good soil mixed up there. I'm gonna use this as a scoop, probably. And we're gonna get started. I have the Australis here. Do you guys see this? Wild, wild. Okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> Bless me. Let's see here. I don't know what I really want to put this in. Um, 
I might put the syngonium in this pot if it fits. The syngonium looks like a hot mess, I realized. I'll explain when I get to it. I might put that in there. Um, I might put the syngonium in this black pot. I don't know if this is too deep. Uh, and then I won't be able to put it up there, so that's gonna cause a fluctuation of problems. Because I need to put it into like a six inch, but it won't fit in this glass pot anymore as a cover pot, so that's annoying. You know what I mean? Like that, ah, that doesn't work. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Uh, okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna save the Australis for later. <laughs> that's my fix right now. And we're gonna repot this guy into this, which I know seems stupid because they're the same size, but this is square and it doesn't fit anything. And this is circular and it will fit into a, a pot that like it will actually fit into this pot. Um, so we're gonna do that right now. Where's my, there it is. My bucket. How are you guys doing? I hope you're all staying um, safe and healthy, which I know sounds stupid to say at this point, but I really do hope you guys are doing well. Um, I know a lot of you are from outside the U.S., your viewers from not in the United States, uh, which I think is really cool. <laughs> I love it that people like to watch my videos from, I think Germany is like the second highest one or something. I don't remember. Um, but hi, and I hope you guys are doing well. I know in the U.S. the vaccination rollout is like starting to amp up quite a bit, so I actually had my first vaccination last week and it went really well. Uh, Wisconsin, the state that I live in, is I think a little bit ahead of the game as far as vaccinations go, so they kind of opened it up I think a few days or like a week early to um, everyone that's eligible, so if you haven't gotten yours yet and you live in Wisconsin, go get it. Right now, um, I had some side effects that weren't related to the vaccine, I don't think. Um, I honestly... <laughs> Funny but also awful story. I think I just got food poisoning the same day I got my vaccine. Like I think I ate something bad either either the day before or that night and it just hit me like a wall. So I think the vaccination mixed with getting food poisoning was not a good combination for me or my body. Oh my God, um, really knocked me down on my ass for a few days. I was out of work on Monday, um, but I'm doing better now and can't wait to get the second one so we can, um, you know, start feeling alive again and doing things. Uh, I can't wait, you know? So, all right, the second plant we're gonna do, that was really quick, by the way. Moonlight's done already. Second one is my Syngonium Pink. Uh, it has this fat boy root coming out the bottom. Um, this does have a hole, so what I'm thinking I might do is put this in something else, maybe, um, maybe this one here, repot this into this pot. So it has a little bit more space, and then we might put the Hoya into this one. Maybe. No, I don't like that either. Wow, I'm really in such a pickle today. <laughs> I really love this pot. Maybe I could put the Burly Marks in there. That might look nice. Okay, yeah, I'll go with that. Because I like doing cover pots. I like them being in, like, plastic pots, you know? I might honestly just cut this one down. I honestly got that from my boyfriend, and... It works like 99% of the time, so I'm gonna go get some scissors. I should have looked up some like planty questions um, to answer during this, but you know what, you guys? Like, I even before moving, I was just kind of like feeling a little bit stagnant with my plants. I don't know if you guys go through similar things or if you make videos or content about plants. I don't know if you go through kind of like waves with it as well. Like, I love plants so much like I would honestly love for them to be my career my life like everything I want to like continue learning about them and just keep doing what I'm doing with plants I just I love them so much um and really could cultivate a whole life around them but there comes a time when like it just gets to like to be kind of boring after all. I hate saying that word I hate saying the b word but um you know it's like I was not, I guess the word is inspired. Like I wasn't feeling inspired to make content. Like even the moving vlog and stuff, it felt kind of forced to me, at least. I know all of you like really enjoyed watching it, but um, 
I think it goes the same with like my design work, right? Like I go through like spells of not wanting to or not feeling inspired to create or just, you know, I'm not feeling like doing that, uh, you know, like as a human being, I'm just like, I don't feel like it sometimes. And I think the same thing happens with um, the channel, you know, where I'm just like, I'm not feeling inspired. I'm not feeling whatever. Like I was doing so many other things in my life, like moving where I was just um, so busy. It was just like the last thing on my mind and that's totally fine. Um, but I'm back now and honestly moving helped a lot because it kind of made me want to start making content again because I had a new space to share with you and, um, you know, the plants are in a different area and everything's new to me again, uh, which is really exciting. So I think, I think this is, um, uh, it was good. The move was good for me, you know, it made me inspired to want to create stuff for you again. Um, please leave comments down below of what you would like to see more from me. I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm not the kind of person where I wanna do videos on like pest control and whatever, because there's so many good ones out there already. I don't think that I could bring anything new to the table besides like my personality, you know what I mean? So um, I don't think I would like to do like bug, bug control videos or anything like that. I'd like doing the content where I get to really honestly just talk. That's why I made this channel called Plant Talk with Logan because I just want to talk about plants um, and that kind of stuff. And I really did like doing the vlog video. So maybe more of that kind of stuff. I don't know what you guys would like to see. Honestly, let me know um, if you would like to see more about like my life in general, like vlog stuff outside of plants or like outside, that looks awful. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to cut that back more. I hate how that looks. The brown plastic is sticking out at the top. Crap. There we go. Yay! Okay. That fits in there really nicely, and honestly, you can't even tell that um it's in that plastic, so that looks great. This moss pole really sticking up it looks so stupid but I don't know what else to do I'm kind of over moss poles like I was in the plant news video for Becca Dela plants and I chose to do moss poles as my um my topic and it was really funny because the episode of um potted together went up like right at the same time as I filmed that section and they were like we're over moss poles I know that they're necessary but like I'm so over it and I'm like same they're so like they're just not cute you know which sucks, but they really do the job, so you gotta use them, I guess. So next we're gonna do the Burly Marks. The Burly Marks grows really fast. Um, I was gonna put it in this one, but I'm not sure. I might put something else in here. I kind of wanted to talk about, like, COVID anxiety today. <laughs> I guess not COVID anxiety, but like returning to normal anxiety. Um, I know I talked with a few of you guys, like, honestly quite often about like our like real life stuff that's going on in our lives and um how we're basically like wow look at those roots burly marks are nuts this was root bound it wasn't even in there for that long <laughs> it wasn't even in there for like six months um but i know i talk with um quite a few of you about like your anxieties in general um because i suffer with pretty bad anxiety and like my anxiety right now has made a really big shift to returning to normal um, and what that looks like because uh, I don't know if you guys know me well enough, but before the pandemic and everything, I was a pretty, like I kept to myself quite a bit. I like doing things alone. I like being alone by myself. Also these cuttings, wow, hello. I think they're ready to go. Um, yeah, I pretty much kept to myself quite a bit. And then when I met Kevin, my boyfriend, um, I started to slowly like start doing things with him because you know, when you're with someone and you spend time with your partner a lot, you tend to like be friends with their friends. You guys go out more, you start doing stuff. So basically when I met Kevin, I had to come out of the closet and well, I didn't have to, but I did. I came out of the closet and I um, started to become more of like a social butterfly a little bit and was really starting to like get my footing and then the pandemic hit 
and I was just I felt like I was knocked back to where I was like in the past like almost in hiding a little bit like not really wanting to be around people you know all that kind of stuff I just I had so many like anxieties about people in general and I feel that same way again like it definitely has crept back into my life I'm like so nervous about what I'm just nervous about going back to the normal because I'm nervous about being around people not because they might be sick but just because I'm nervous around people and I just have an adversity to just like to nightlife to like hanging out with people I don't know I struggle with it a lot like a lot of the time I don't necessarily see the point which is it makes it difficult for me because my boyfriend is like you know very open and loves being around people and loves seeing people and hanging out with them and I do too, don't get me wrong. Like, I love the people that are in my life, but I get anxieties about being with them again and, like, getting that groove back and that dynamic going again, I guess. I don't really know if I'm saying this correctly, but um, I'm, like, I talked about this with my therapist quite a bit, and I'm just so nervous about, like, being judged by people because of, like, being picked on in the past and just like people doing things specifically to make fun of me and like bullying and all this stuff and I just it's hard for me to open up to people when all I've known is them hurting me you know what I mean so a positive throughout the pandemic was that the people that really have wanted to be in my life or stick around with me have stuck around there's you know a few well not even a few a couple co-workers and you know some of my my close friends from back home where I used to live and then like my sister and Kevin and Kevin's friends who I adore and I love them so much and um I have them around but I'm still nervous <laughs> I don't know why like I said too it's not even a COVID thing it's just like nerves of being around them just being with people it just makes me nervous and I don't want to do it ah if you guys are, if some of you are watching this, um, you know I love you and want to see you. I'm just fucking weird, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. We're gonna repot the Hoya Australis now. I wish that this... I wish I had pots that fit inside of other pots! I'm just gonna pot it up in this pink pot and I'll throw a hole in it when I feel like it. Okay, don't come for me. There's some roots there, mama. Wow, that is dry too. I gotta water that soon. That's kind of a tight root ball, so I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna fuck with it too much. Um, oh, maybe I could put it in this one. I mean, it's a little bigger. It's just a, it's a different shape. Would that be stupid? The roots wouldn't be coming out of the bottom. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna put a little bit in the bottom and then just augment. Well, that was my little chat on human anxiety and being around other humans and. I think people make me feel vulnerable and like I'm just scared I'm just so so scared of like being myself because for the longest time I didn't know who that was you know what I mean like when you're when you're in the closet and you're uh everything it's just it's so difficult you'd like you don't know who you are and now I mean I know who I am now and I guess I need to celebrate that and be around people but I'm uh scared basically is all I'm trying to say Okay, so I'm gonna water this really quick. I know you can't see it, but I'm gonna kind of let it soak. It's really dry. There you go, girly. Okay, so what do we have left then? Since that's done too. We have my cuttings and we have this <laughs> Syngonium. So there's a story behind this Syngonium. I bought it because, so I was at a greenhouse by my parents and they were selling these like syngonium like mixed syngonium things there's like three different types in here they were selling them for eight dollars and i was like okay i only want the confetti syngonium i don't want the rest of the whatever types are in there there's like some trade escantia growing in here too and i'm like i don't want any of that i just want the confetti um plant and so i have to cut like all these other ones back and then get rid of them because some of them aren't confetti. Okay, these are, so this one is not. Okay, so I just gotta pull this bad boy out of here and go to town, basically.
But yeah, I'm done talking about anxiety now, so uh, if you guys feel the same, leave comments below. I know a lot of people have anxiety about just going back into the world in general, but mine stems to like a whole different place of like, yes, anxiety around being around people once I'm vaccinated and I know they're vaccinated too, I'm still going to be nervous about that. But the nerves also come from like, are these people still going to like me? Why would they want to be around me, etc. Like, I need to stop doubting myself because obviously they want to be around me if they're asking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ugh. I don't know. I just really value my alone time, but then it gets to be too much and I'm like, crap. Now I'm sad again. You know what I mean? Also, these roots are nuts. I don't know why. I did cut a lot of this back, but these roots are like really big for how small the leaves are, but very strange. Syngonia, very strange. Like, you do you though, girlfriend. I think since these roots are so big, I am gonna pot it into this really big cylinder here. Um, it will fit pretty well, I think. Let's see. Jesus, yeah, that'll work. I know it looks dumb, but you know, it'll, it'll, the leaves will grow in the summer and everything. And like I said, I cut a lot of these back before I even like had this on camera because I got it home and I was like, I don't want this, I don't want this. <laughs> Um, but wow, the confetti is so pretty when it, um, like, is a confetti plant. I don't know what had happened to the other ones, but they, like, lost the pink. And then the cuttings of that I have in there, I have a Brazil cutting in my um, humidity box. And I have a Mikan's cutting, which is really exciting because it's actually a cutting from my boyfriend. But the cutting was originally from me that I gave him. So it's like with the plants coming back to me, um, cue the Lindsay Lohan, I'm coming back to me song. Yeah, I had a mic in and it died. I don't know what happened. It, I think it had thrips and it didn't, I didn't know it at the time because I had a really big thrips outbreak um, at the beginning of the year or at the end of last year. And I think that was the case. Um, and I didn't know it at the time. Now I know better. And I have a cutting, and I'm excited. They're pretty big, actually, so I'm kind of excited to pop those up. And, oh, I might put them in here. That might work. We'll see. This plant, I know it looks a little, like, ratchet and kind of gross and whatever, but... She'll, she'll flesh out, okay? Just let her be. She'll be fine. Let her grow up. <laughs> Hello! Oh, I forgot I had a Ref and Ford Pertussa stick in here. I had a Raffinophora Pertussa wet stick in here. Look at that. So cute. So I'm gonna pull these out. Oh, I had three. Nice. Uh, this one doesn't have any roots. Okay, what's this one? Barely. Oh God. Oh, 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 oh. Success. This is so weird. Why do these cuttings look like this? Oh, all right, I'm gonna water this. Get that humidity up. Enjoy your day, lads. All right, then this one actually did really well. So I'm gonna cut it here. Do you guys see this? Look at those roots on there. Check it out. See, it's like a whole new plant. This has some roots here too. Um, okay, and then I can just stick this stick in there. I'll probably put my micans in my plant cabinet as well because uh, it's a really small plant and the humidity will be really good in there for it. And uh, I won't have to worry about it as much. You know what I mean? Like if you have, I feel like when I have little tiny plants like this and they're just out, they suffer because I forget to water them, if I'm being honest. More soil. Okay. All right, let's see here. Today when I went to buy soil from the local greenhouse, they didn't have as many like plants that like, they had a lot of plants, don't get me wrong, but they were like, I was like, I had really high hopes. I don't know why, like I felt like Last time they had not filled it under mayo eye, but mame maybe or something. And I was hoping they would have those again. Last time I didn't have enough money to buy one and I like regret not getting one. Um, and now I really want one. Oh, no, it was a Tahiti, filled it under Tahiti. 
and I really kind of want one and I'm sad that they didn't have one this time. I was like low-key let down mostly just by myself for not being able to manage money <laughs> if I'm being honest. These little cuttings are so difficult to pot up. Like yikes. Cuties. Just a bunch of little cuties. <laughs> I feel like that went pretty fast. I could be wrong. The video might be like 45 minutes. I honestly, I lose track of time when I do this, so I have no idea. I'm trying to think. I don't think I have anything else to talk to you guys about. I'm just uh, happy to be back making videos. I'm feeling inspired again. Um, I hope you like the new surroundings. And um, yeah, the plants, once again, Burley Marks. Um, Syngonium confetti off to the right. Not sure if you can see it. Um, Philodendron. I can't remember the name. What's wrong with me? Philodendron Mygins here. Uh, Scandepsis Moonlight, I believe. Oops. <laughs> Hoya Australis and Sigonium Pink Splash. So those are my repotting baits today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot. Uh, leave a comment down below about anything we talked about today. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching um, and subscribing and everything. It means a lot to me. So, all right, I'll see you with the next video. Bye.